Have you ever wondered how far we've come in the fight against cancer? The journey has been long and arduous, with countless hours of research, trial and error, breakthroughs and setbacks. From the rudimentary methods of the past to the sophisticated treatments of the present day, we've seen an incredible evolution in the world of cancer therapy. In this relentless pursuit of a cure, researchers have harnessed the power of science and technology, leading to treatments that were unthinkable just a few decades ago. We've seen the rise of personalized medicine, immunotherapy, and targeted therapies that home in on specific cancer cells, sparing the healthy ones. And now we stand on the cusp of another potentially transformative breakthrough. Picture this, a world where we can eradicate cancer cells using nothing more than vibrating molecules. Yes, you heard it right. This isn't a plot from a science fiction novel but a reality that scientists are meticulously crafting in the lab. Known as the molecular jackhammer method, this innovative approach involves stimulating aminocyanine molecules with near-infrared light. The result? A resonating effect that disrupts and destroys the membranes of cancer cells. A technique that not only promises to be highly effective, but also difficult for cancer cells to develop resistance against. But what makes this method truly revolutionary is its potential to reach deeper into the body, targeting cancer in bones and organs without the need for invasive surgery. Imagine the possibilities this could unlock, the lives it could change, the hope it could instill. Now, how does this fascinating new technique work? Let's dive deeper. What if you could destroy cancer cells without surgery using just light and molecules? Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But it's not. Welcome to the world of molecular jackhammers. This might sound like a term straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's an actual approach that scientists are now using to combat cancer. The concept is quite simple, yet ingenious. Researchers have found a way to stimulate aminocyanine molecules with near-infrared light, causing these molecules to vibrate at such intense frequencies that they effectively shatter the membranes of cancer cells. To understand this, picture aminocyanine molecules as tiny jackhammers. When they are hit by near-infrared light, they start to vibrate, or jackhammer, if you will. Now, these molecules have a natural propensity to attach themselves to the outside of cells. So when they start their jackhammer action, they are usually clinging to a cell's membrane. And when a jackhammer hits something hard enough and long enough, what happens? It breaks apart. That's exactly what happens to the cancer cell membranes. What's even more fascinating about this approach is the use of near-infrared light. This type of light has the ability to penetrate deep into the body. This means that it could potentially treat cancer cells located in bones and organs without the need for surgery. Just imagine the possibilities this opens up. No more invasive procedures, no more post-op complications, just light, molecules, and their destructive dance. But that's not all. The beauty of the molecular jackhammer method is that it's extremely hard for cancer cells to develop resistance against it. This is a major advantage, considering that one of the biggest challenges in cancer treatment today is the ability of cancer cells to mutate and resist therapy. Imagine a world where cancer could be treated without invasive surgeries. How would that change our lives? Do you know the magic behind the effectiveness of this method? It's all about light, but not just any light. It's near-infrared light that plays the pivotal role in this groundbreaking approach. Picture this, the near-infrared light stimulating aminocyanine molecules, causing them to vibrate with such energy that they break apart the membranes of cancer cells. This is not a scene from a science fiction movie. This is real, and it's happening right now in laboratories around the world. The beauty of near-infrared light lies in its ability to penetrate deeper into the body. This means it could potentially treat cancer in bones and organs without the need for invasive surgery. It's like having a non-physical scalpel that operates with precision, targeting only the cells that need to be eliminated. This method, aptly named molecular jackhammers, is not only faster, but it also allows for a more comprehensive reach within the body. The light activates these jackhammers, setting in motion a process that is difficult for cancer cells to resist or adapt to. 
This is the power of near-infrared light, a silent warrior in the fight against cancer. But the story doesn't end here. The potential of this method is vast, and researchers are already exploring other molecules that could be used in a similar way. The future of cancer treatment could be shining brightly, and it's all thanks to the power of near-infrared light. Could this be the beginning of a new era in cancer treatment? What are your thoughts? Just how effective is this method? You might be surprised. As we delve deeper into the exhilarating world of molecular jackhammers, it's time to take a look at the astounding success rates achieved so far. This groundbreaking method of cancer treatment has shown extraordinary promise, successfully annihilating 99% of cultured cancer cells. Now let's put that into perspective. That's virtually every single cancer cell, disintegrated, leaving behind a clean slate for healthy cells to thrive. But the triumph doesn't stop there. The technique made half of the mice with melanoma tumors cancer-free. Yes, you heard it right. From a life-threatening diagnosis to a clean bill of health, these results are nothing short of miraculous. Now, you might be wondering, what's next? Well, the future looks bright and teeming with possibilities. Current research is already underway to explore other molecules that can be used in the same way. By broadening our molecular toolkit, we can potentially target an even wider array of cancer types. Imagine a world where cancer treatment is as simple as flipping a switch, activating a light that stimulates molecules to become tiny jackhammers, dismantling the very fabric of cancer cells. This isn't just a dream, it's a very real possibility that scientists are working tirelessly to bring to life. In this new era, we could see treatments that are faster, more efficient and, crucially, more effective than anything we've known before. The use of near-infrared light could potentially treat cancers buried deep within bones and organs, reducing the need for invasive surgeries. This is the dawn of a new era in cancer treatment. We are on the brink of major breakthroughs. What do you think the future holds? The possibilities are as vast as our imaginations, and the future of cancer treatment looks brighter than ever before. We've covered some ground today, haven't we? The future of cancer treatment is looking brighter, don't you think? We've delved into the scientific breakthrough of using vibrating molecules, specifically aminocyanine, to destroy cancer cells. We've learned about the power of near-infrared light and its role in this innovative approach, allowing for deeper penetration into the body, potentially treating cancer in bones and organs without surgery. We've also touched on the impressive success rate achieved so far, with the molecular jackhammer method successfully destroying 99% of cultured cancer cells. And let's not forget the promising results in mice with melanoma tumours, where half of them became cancer-free. This exciting new method not only offers hope for more effective cancer treatments, but it also opens up a plethora of possibilities for future research. Scientists are already exploring other molecules that can be used in a similar way. Remember, your thoughts and opinions matter. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let's continue this conversation in the comments section.